A clinical study testing the COVID-19 antiviral drug remdesivir and an experimental antibody therapy has been halted over safety concerns. The treatment is similar to the one given to the U.S. President Donald Trump after he tested positive for coronavirus. Eli Lilly, the developer of the drug, says the trial was paused out of an abundance of caution. No further details were given for why the trial was put on hold. Yesterday, we learned that Johnson & Johnson had halted its COVID-19 vaccine clinical trial after a participant fell ill. Well, for more on this, let's talk to Lawrence Gustin. He's Professor of Global Health Law at Georgetown University. Well, thanks for taking time to speak to us here in the program. Well, two trials stopped in as many days. How significant a setback is this? Well, you know, it uh, shows that the system uh, for safety is actually working the way it's intended. Um, it's, very, it's not uncommon at all um, to pause a trial. This is a, uh, there's an independent body called the Data Safety Monitoring Board, um, and that will um, flag any potential adverse effects. It's, it's fairly common. It shows the system's working well. Um, but it does show that these drugs and vaccines can potentially have grave adverse consequences if we don't let the science play out. Okay. Are there any trials that are taking place right now where the, the outcome so far has been positive? Well, you know, there are a lot of trials. I mean, we've got nine um, clinical trials in phase three. Uh, human studies uh, for uh, va vaccine candidates for COVID. They've all shown um, promise, um, but the, what, what this pause shows us is, is that you know, we, we hope and pray that we're going to get a vaccine, we're going to get good therapeutics, but we can't count on it. We, we, you know, there are many, many promising vaccines and, and drugs um, that are in phase three clinical trials that don't pan out. And so we have to hope for the best, strive for the best, but we also have to prepare for the fact that we're not going to get a magic bullet very soon. Okay, well, whilst we're uh, hoping for the best and uh, preparing for the worst, even if this magic bullet does come out soon, realistically, how long could it be before the likes of you and me get this vaccine? Yeah, I mean, it's probably not going to be until the second or third quarter of 2021. Um, it takes a long time to manufacture these vaccines. Many of the vaccine candidates need two doses. And also remember that the, that the effectiveness of first-generation vaccines may only be in the range of 50 or 60 percent, and you also have a lot of vaccine hesitancy. And so... Um, it's not. It, it's going to be very helpful. It's going to be very important. But COVID is not going to go away anytime soon. OK, just before we let you go, uh, how effective are Mars? Should we be looking to invest more in them and developing them as so many of them of us are wearing them daily now? Well, you know, masks are important. Um, you know, uh, if everyone were to wear a mask um, all the time, um, it would have a significant population-based uh, improvement in uh, uh, COVID uh, cases and, and mortality. Um, so that's one, we have to have layered protection, distancing, no, no mass gatherings, masks, and then hopefully we're gonna get the cavalry in with uh, vaccines and, and good therapeutics um, within the next you know, six to 12 months. OK, and if I can add washing your hands as well to that list there. Lawrence yes, Gosting, Professor you. of Global Health Law at Georgetown University. Thanks for joining us on the programme.